Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited for this video. It was both fun and stressful. You guys know how I get when it comes to like sorting through my palettes and picking things out. For today's video, we are going to be doing the eyeshadow wardrobe tag. Basically, I go through my eyeshadow palette collection and I pick a certain palette for a certain occasion like wedding, girls night, Christmas party, office, all of that good stuff. So if you want to see my selections, then just keep watching. <laughs> Really excited for today's video because it is in collaboration with my friend Charlotte Holcroft. I will make sure to put her channel and video down below so make sure you check that out right away. But basically what inspired this video was about a couple months ago Charlotte came up with a tag called the foundation wardrobe tag and it was certain occasions and where you would wear that foundation to. And one of my wonderful beautiful amazing subscribers slid into my DMs basically with the eyeshadow version of this wardrobe tag. So I hit up Charlotte and I was like let's collab on this how fun and here we are if you aren't subscribed to Charlotte already she is a UK based beauty youtuber Charlotte is so funny you guys she always comes up with creative ideas and presents them in a really fun way I really enjoy watching her videos and she's into very similar makeup that I am as well so if you're looking for more people to follow who are also into kind of the makeup that I am I would definitely go check out her channel she does really great videos she's so honest and so real and I personally I love being subscribed to her and watching her videos and I know that you guys would too. Let's get into it. I will have all of the categories that we came up with down below. Feel free to go ahead and do this. It's really fun. I was just sitting down by my eyeshadows digging through my drawers. This is really stressful for me. I don't know why. I just get really stressed out in situations like these. I still feel even a little bit uneasy because I feel like there are better things that I could have chosen for certain things. But anyways, I'm just going to stick to my guns and let's get to it. So the first category that we have have is for a wedding or being a wedding guest. For me, right away, I went straight to my ABH Soft Glam. This is probably the easiest category for me. If you don't know, I do bridal makeup. I haven't done weddings this year because of the world's condition, but this is the palette that I always use. It just has the perfect wedding tones that basically everybody is looking for. You have peachy tones, you have more pinky tones, neutral tones, everything for a wedding is right here. This is kind of my go-to everyday palette as well. I just love this palette and I use it all the time on brides because it just has every color that I need, every transition color, every shimmer color. So this is my go-to for a wedding palette. The next category that we have is date night. So for me, I was thinking nothing too much, something soft, something romantic, but something with a little bit of oomph to it because it's date night. So this one was also a pretty easy one for me. I chose the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose palette. This is just the original one. I do have the nice fancy one with the pink lacquered packaging and I just feel like these have soft romantic tones to them. You can also play it up if you really want to build up the shades. You have some fun glittery special shade options as well to make it a little more glam. For me this is just the perfect soft romantic date night palette. I truly love this palette and I have been using and abusing my Divine Rose 2 lately so it felt good to open this one up so much more calm so much more soft at first when I first got this palette I wasn't as crazy about it but now that I've had it for longer I've really learned to appreciate the tones that this palette has the next category that we have is girls night so I was thinking of something where at least when I have a girls night I like to just go glam glittery smoky all of that so I actually was thinking based on previous experience what do I always find myself grabbing for? And for me, that is the Dose of Colors and Desi X Katie Friendcation palette. I mean, if the packaging doesn't draw you in for a girl's night, I don't know what would. But this for me has the perfect colors and finishes for me as far as a girl's night. I don't necessarily go colorful when I go out. I still love my neutrals, but I feel like why I love this palette is you have the base transition shades that you need and then you have all of these different textures here. So this shade, you can add a little bit of glitter, you can go red smoky eye or you can pop these blue colors on. It's going to give you a glittery effect and for me, I just have used this palette a lot. It's really gotten its use for me and I always for some reason end up choosing this for a girl's night so I wanted to mention that because personally I use it for a girl's night and it just fulfills every need that I have for that occasion. Number four is vacation. So for me, this is the perfect vacation palette especially because I have vacation memories tied to it. This is what I wore in Hawaii. I got to play with some color. I got to play with some neutral tones and that is the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I mean this 
palette was basically made for vacation. Not a lot of people love this. This wasn't her best work because especially the shades down here, they're formulas that I don't think she was as successful with. But that being said, these first two rows are beautiful for gray, everyday, peachy in the sun tones. But I can still make this last row work when I want a colorful look anyways. I love that I dedicated most of my Hawaii vacation to this palette because that is what I think of when I pull this palette out. And immediately when I read vacation palette, this is what I want. This is just the perfect vacation palette for me. You have beautiful colors to match the tones of outside. And then you have the neutral colors for days that you don't necessarily necessarily want a lot of makeup. Number five is graduation. And this for me, I had to really think about. And I was thinking about things that are going to be flattering in photos and you're wearing a cap and nobody's really looking at your eyes, I feel like. So I just wanted a flattering palette. So that is why I chose the Wayne Goss, the luxury eye palette. It's not gonna be something that's too glam. You can just get a really quick everyday eye that is going to be photogenic. It's not gonna be too much and it's just going to look good. It has the colors that you need. Whatever color your gown is, this is going to match. And this is like an essential palette to me. These have essential colors. And I'm thinking for graduation, you're not going to want to wear anything too glam. I mean, you might. I don't know. I'm not the one to judge. I don't even remember what palette I wore for graduation, but I just know I kept the makeup more neutral. So this is something this current day, if I were graduating, this would probably be the palette that I would wear. Put a little bit of black shadow liner on, maybe a pop of glitter because that's who I am. So this is the palette that I I personally would wear to graduation, but I feel like this is a pretty broad category. You could do a lot of things for a palette for graduation. Next up is Christmas Day, and I really feel like I have a really good palette choice for this one. I chose the ColourPop and Kathleen Light's So Jaded palette, primarily because I wore this last Christmas, but I feel like it has these beautiful Christmas tones down here. You have some greens if you want. I really love green for Christmas. This is the lid color that I wore. This emerald shade all over my lid. You have warm tones if you want to go with a more warm Christmassy cranberry eye. Blue tones for the winter. For me, this just screams Christmas. I personally used it. I always go a little bit extra with my makeup for holidays and that is why I chose this one for Christmas. I feel like it has all the Christmas tones in here. You can even go icy here. I did a good job picking this one. I'm very proud of myself. This is definitely a great Christmas palette. Moving on, birthday parties. So when I think of birthday parties, I think of fun and color and I mean again birthday palette is probably a pretty broad category I'm thinking of a child's birthday I don't know why but anyways I think whether it's your birthday party or somebody else's it's filled with color and fun so I chose a fun palette I chose the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint Tropez you guys know I have a deep love for BH palettes. I just feel like they have a bomb formula and bomb color stories. So this is one of the best palettes that I've personally ever tried from BH. I just feel like the quality is spot on here. And I just love these colors. This has such a fun color choice for birthday parties. I don't know, they're colorful, but they're not too colorful. You can kind of tone them down like this shade, this light purple. It's still not a crazy purple. You have a gold in here. You have fun pops of colors in here that aren't going to be too overwhelming, but of course you can create an overwhelming look with this palette. But anyways, I was just thinking of birthday parties and I felt like that was kind of a difficult category to think of something for. And I like cake. I wanted something that reminded me of cake and color and fun and balloons. And this one did. <laughs> Moving on to office. So this was a palette that I recently bought a few months ago. And when I put it on immediately, like this is something I would want to wear to the office. It's quick, it's small. You can throw it into your purse. It's neutral. For Four colors. You're not going to have a hard time with it. This is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Della Cream. It's just like the shimmers aren't too glittery or shiny or metallic and you have the most basic brown shades that are going to look good no matter what and like I said it's just small you can fit it into your purse you can quickly slide some color onto your eyes it's like kind of a boring palette like when I put it on I was a little bit underwhelmed by it but that's when I was like this is the perfect office palette it's beautiful it's a great reliable formula it's gonna last you all day at work and it's definitely office appropriate this quad doesn't get talked about a lot like I said because it's a little boring but it's actually really really nice I I don't work in an office. I don't need to have office makeup, but if I 
fit. Like this is a good go-to office palette to wear every single day to work. Number nine, we have errands and everyday go-to. I mean, for me, I would just throw something on, something with brown in the crease. But as far as like just my go-to palette that I know I'm always gonna feel comfortable with, I'm always gonna love the tones, I'm always gonna love the quality, I'm a neutral lover. So that's why I chose this palette. But I decided on the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. This for me in my neutral toned state has every color that I personally would love and need even if I want to go a little bit bold with my makeup for the day or a little bit more neutral I can just grab up here and get just that quick everyday look it just gives me options when I think of everyday for me it's something different every day but normally it's pretty neutral so I think this gives me quite a lot of options to go a little bit smoky some days to go a little bit lighter some days and yeah this is just a great palette for me personally my everyday go-to I highly recommend it and finally number 10 New Year's I just kind of struggled with this one I definitely wanted a palette that had glitter in it and I was thinking more like smoky eye glitter I wouldn't necessarily recommend this but it's complicated this is like just a perfect New Year's palette though I don't think it's the best quality and that is the Tati Beauty volume 1 palette don't come for me okay listen I just I haven't had the best experiences with this palette personally but it is the perfect palette for New Year's as far as a New Year's look I'm thinking you're gonna play up here and for a simple look this palette is just fine it works great especially for every day but as far as intricate looks this is when I've struggled with this palette I don't know when I've just done more detailed looks I've had problems with blending and just mixing the colors together and layering with this palette but as far as like a New Year's look for me what that looks like a smoky eye with glitter and that's very easy to do with this palette no matter what tone you're going for I think I would play around probably with this row right here what is this memory row i just feel like you have endless amounts of options for new year's and the glitter row is really what gave it away as far as me wanting to use this as a new year's palette but it definitely speaks new year's to me so this is a great palette glitter that's what it's all about that's what this palette has so those are the palettes that i chose to fit in those categories let me know how you guys think i did like i said i have a lot of palettes so this was stressful but i'm very happy with the choices that i made of course i think i could probably dig back in and find some other palettes but i had a lot of fun with this i love videos like this so if you guys come up with any ideas i'm game for sure make sure you go check out charlotte's video if you haven't already like i said it is linked down below I know her video is going to be really good because she thinks things out and she presents them in such a funny way. Her video is going to be very entertaining. I already know it. So that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. I guess have a good one.